we already know that lungs are covered by a double layered membrane known as pleura the outer or peripheral layer which is known as parietal pleura is attached to chest wall on the anterior lateral and posterior surfaces as well as to the diaphragm inferiorly and continues uh, medially within mediastinum from hilum the same layer turns around to make a second layer to be attached to lung surfaces from all sides and is known as visceral pleura parietal pleura moves with chest wall and diaphragm and visceral pleura remains attached to lung surface uh, and moves with it making a friction less breathing possible in between the two surfaces there is a small amount of fluid known as pleural fluid which on x-ray of a healthy person is not visible pneumothorax is a condition when air enters between two layers air can enter pleural space from four different boundaries number one uh, chest wall either anterior posterior or lateral as a result of trauma for example parietal pleura, pleura will rupture in such a case second possible entry can be from diaphragm again injury or neoplasm can do this and again a parietal pleura will rupture the third possible entry can be from within mediastinum and again parietal pleura will rupture in such a case the fourth possible case will be an air entry from within the lungs and there can be several reasons the visceral pleura will rupture in such a case whatever may be the case or whatever may be the entry point affected lung loses its volume and collapses as the extrinsic pressure from pleural cavity increases and as the lung collapses it pulls visceral pleura with it making uh, it clearly visible on chest x-ray in healthy humans visceral pleura cannot be differentiated from parietal pleura on a chest x-ray diagnosis uh, is made radiologically in erect view uh, air will rise towards apex creating an avascular area uh, and uh, the visceral pleura will be separated from parietal pleura one characteristic is that bony details of anterior and posterior ribs become highly visible in great details which under normal conditions have lung tissue sandwiched between them lung tissue has blood vessels uh, which appear white and so does the bone as a result of lung collapse the only thing between anterior and posterior ribs uh, is air which creates a high contrast between bones and air now if you look at uh, this example uh, so the bony details are extremely clear and you can see the visceral pleura so this is the collapsed lung in this example the rest of the pleural cavity is filled with air uh, which is uh, known as pneumothorax if I try to change the window level settings you can probably see it very clearly so the avascular areas in left thoracic cavity and this is the collapsed lung because of the extrinsic pressure from the uh, air within the pleural cavity the air cannot push the lateral or anterior posterior boundaries of the thorax but lung is a soft tissue it can be compressed and as a result uh, it collapses uh, and I will also try to zoom it a bit and then pan it around so 
you can see the boundary clearly now and it is continuing inferiorly as well this is the uh, second x-ray of the same patient uh, they have tried to aspirate the air and lung as a result has uh, regained its uh, size there's only a little bit of air in the apex the other findings are emphysematous lung uh, and rest of the lung fields are clear so thank you very much